We'll start things off with an opening statement from Coach and then open it up to questions for the student athletes. Coach Aldrich? Well, um, yeah, first off, hats off to Houston. Uh, and it's, uh, it's really hard to simulate uh, that level of uh, physicality and uh, speed um, and just how hard they play. Uh, and, and what's so impressive is, is their consistency uh, throughout the game. Um, almost every possession, uh, it's, it's relentless. Um, and so make things very difficult, obviously, offensively. And, and uh, that's, why, that's why they're such a good, good team and, and rank so highly uh, defensively. Um, but uh, obviously tonight was, was certainly not the Lancers night, um, but extremely proud of our guys uh, to get to the tournament and uh, the, the resilience and the character uh, that they've shown throughout the year to battle the ups and downs um, and their genuine love for one another, I think is, uh, is, is really why, why we're here. And uh, so extremely proud of, uh, of this team and what they've accomplished. Uh, and, and, you know, tonight, uh, obviously not, not excited about it, but it doesn't diminish what these guys did. We will uh, open it up for questions for the student athletes. Uh, start with your name and affiliation and direct it to uh, one of the young men. Go ahead, Mike. Uh, Mike Barber, Richmond Times Dispatch. Waylon, what was it about their defense that is so smothering to, to go against them? They're just very aggressive. Uh, you, you, it's obvious that they work on defense a lot. Uh, they earned my respect tonight. That's the reason why they're one of the best teams in the nation, not if the best team in the nation. Uh, uh, yeah, they, they're just really good at defense. Uh, and then their offense was clicking as well. So it just wasn't our night, like Coach said, but hats off to them. Uh, like I said, they earned they earn my respect. Right behind him. Isaac Bourne, Mid-Major Madness. Another question for Waylon. You know, two seasons at um, two seasons here and with Coach Aldrich. So, what has this program meant to you in two years here, and then now being able to play for them in the NCAA tournament? Uh, for, I, just, I just want to thank God, you know, for um, guiding me to Longwood, um, playing for Coach Griff for the past two years. Uh, it's been good. It's been a great experience, you know. Uh, this being my last year as a senior, not going out the way we wanted to go out, but still being able to have a championship in the Big South is a uh, was the goal of ours, uh, make it to the NCAA tournament, you know. Um, just being at Longwood, playing with this team, especially this year, the brothers, the brotherhood that we, we made since the summer, since we took the trip overseas. Uh, I love this team. I love the group of guys. Uh, I love the coaches. Uh, they took a chance on me. And I don't know how I can repay them, but I'm just very thankful, you know, just to be in this moment, uh, to live out the dream that we all had as kids, you know. Back to Mike. Mike from Richmond again. Uh, for both of you guys, how significant do you think it is that you got this program to a second NCAA appearance? Uh, I mean, obviously the first one was really exciting a couple of years ago, but to do it again so close um, seems to give you guys some more credibility. But uh, we'll let Jasper go first. Uh, I think it shows uh, growth inside the program uh, where, I mean, we were, uh, when I got here four years ago and where we're at now right now, it shows a positive growth. And I think in five years, It'll be, yeah, great. What do you think, Will? Uh, I think Coach Griffin, the coaching staff, has built a program that people will always remember now. You know, they didn't have the success that they wanted when he first got here, but now uh, Longwood is a powerhouse. The target's on our back. Uh, like, like I said, uh, it's a great program. It help you on and off the court. It's not all about basketball. It's about growing as a man. And Coach Griffin has helped us all grow as young men, and uh, he's helping us to prepare for the real world, and he did a great job with this program. He's, he's going to continue to do a great job. Any others for the student athletes? All right, Mike, you're on a roll. Sorry, I'll get you guys out of here soon. One more, uh, Mike from Richmond. In terms of what's coming back, what you know is in this program, and I know the roster can always change, but how do you feel about the strength of this team kind of going forward? Um, what do you see uh, kind of coming up in the, in the ranks there? Yeah, I think our freshmen, as today we saw Emmanuel Richards, just amazing game. The growth he's been having throughout the whole season has been amazing to see. So with uh, Shimon and Elijah, where they started off this season to where they are at right now, it's amazing to see. 
Oh, yeah, this is my last year. Uh, I'll be gone, but I just know that the team that we had this year and that's coming back, they'll be the same team and they'll be even better uh, in the second year because this year was uh, a little growing pains, you know, coming into a new program, not knowing what to expect, being transfers. Uh, they did a really good job this year. Uh, as you see, we won the Big South. Many people didn't think we'll do it, but at the end of the day, we accomplished a lot this year. Uh, then, didn't come out and play the way we wanted to play today, but you got to look at look at the positive things that we did this year. So um, next year, the team would be better. Guys, we'll uh, let you get back with your team. Thank you for your time. And uh, yes, in sir. the meantime, we'll dismiss you guys, the you student athletes, and we'll leave it here with Coach. Uh, raise your hand for questions for Coach Aldrich, and we'll get a microphone to you. <coughs> hey, Griff, Mike Barber, Richmond hey, Times Mike. Dispatch. <laughs> um, just what I asked the guys, what is the significance of being here again? I know you wanted to play better tonight, but um, so close to your last appearance to be back here. Well, I, I think the, the vision um, that was cast for me when um, I first uh, interviewed at, at Longwood was really to build, I think the, really from the, from the president down, uh, was to build a program that would be a championship caliber program and to really dream big. Uh, not just have a good team every couple of years, but one that would uh, be a perennial contender in the Big South and that would, would get to the NCAA on a, on a regular occasion. Um, and I think, um, you know, 320 win seasons uh, in a row uh, is is a huge accomplishment. It's a really it's a big testament to the institution at large, um, not just the program, but I really think the institution, um, their commitment to to helping build a program, um, to you know recruiting Tim Hall, who is a is, is a you know distinguished AD with a lot of experience and knows how to help grow basketball programs in particular. Um, and, and then all of the extra support. And as a result of that, we're able to recruit talented players. We're able to attract you know, quality staff. Uh, we're able to enhance the student athlete experience. And I think all of that, you know, we, we always talk about pouring into the root. I think pouring in that investment, pour, pouring in that commitment, it's not all just about money. It's, there's a lot of different facets. Um, but I think as a result of that, you're seeing the growth in the in the program, and um, you know it's exciting. It's exciting to see, and and uh, I th I think it's it's we're just on the the front end. We're on the back row. Justin Williams from the Athletic Coach. What does Houston do with its defensive rotations to have so much success and create turnovers, and how does it compare to other college teams you've seen? <laughs> uh, hadn't seen hadn't seen. Uh, what I saw tonight all year, you know, I, I think they're they're first off. I mean, they're, they're all about the same, you know, within about four or five inches of one another. But they're flying around. the 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 pace at which they play is is really remarkable. And uh, the thing that I was really curious about was would they really be able to sustain it? You know, they've got such a short bench, and yet. It just didn't stop, and so they. The, what I believe they're really good at is scrambling. You just don't get an open shot, and you may shot fake and get by somebody, and then boom, somebody's there. You may kick it to somebody else, boom, somebody's right there, and uh, and then I'll, also their physicality. It's it's really hard to get by them because they're big and strong. They know how to defend, uh, you know, without getting the fouls called. Um, and, and so I, I think that I really think a lot of it starts with just they they play with purpose and they're not going to let anything be easy. And, uh, I mean, God, they were up 30 and I think we met DA Houston made a three in front of, uh, our bench and I bar I thought he barely got the shot off and, you know, Samson's, you know, screaming at Wilson, uh, I think like, that's an emergency. Get out there. I was like, damn. <laughs> so uh um I thought he was out there. <laughs> but uh anyway, yeah, that's that's what I thought. They were still on the aisle. 
Isaac Bourne, mid-major madness. Coach, I know we just talked about Houston defensively, but offensively, you guys were able to hold, you guys were able to stick with them a little bit defensively at the beginning of the game, and then their offense kind of took off. Was it that they wore down your defense, or how did that work out? You know, I, I honestly thought, um, I'm always transparent, I, I thought we broke. I thought we broke. And yeah, we were playing with them a little bit. I think it was a 10-point game but they hadn't scored a ton and they were getting offensive rebounds. But I think what happened was we couldn't, we couldn't get an easy look on the offensive end and then we're turning it over. And then that so often you dip with your defensive intensity and then you, you're a little sloppy on a switch, uh, you're, you're late on a closeout and then bang, you know, 10 goes to 20 pretty quickly. Coach, you're going to our right. Uh, Jason Bristol from KHOU in Houston. Having just listened to you describe the way U of H plays defense, the U of H defense you saw in this first half of this game, if they continue to play like that, what is their ceiling in this tournament? Yeah, I, I do think defense wins championships. Um, so I think they're going to be able to go, you know, as far as that will take them. Um, I've been impressed because I, I'm shocked – at their lack of depth, being able to play at that pace. You know, usually when, when you're playing like that, you're usually going nine, 10 deep even. And um, obviously they didn't have to play their guys that long tonight. Um, but, you know, that, that would be my question. Um, you know, my guess is, I, I haven't asked Coach Sampson, but my guess is the Iowa State game that they, they got beat. Probably three games in three days. They just ran out of gas, is my guess. Um, and the way this is all set up, you're able to play two games and then get a break. That probably helps them quite a bit. Um, and then I, they shot the ball, I thought, really well. I thought they shot the ball better than what they normally do. Uh, maybe we didn't defend it well. Um, but, uh, you know, if they're shooting the ball that way and defending that way, they're going to be really hard. Back on the aisle. Uh, Mike Barber, Richmond Times Dispatch. <laughs> Griff, uh, other than Waylon, everybody is eligible to come back. I know in this era you have probably no idea what your roster is going to look like, but um, what is your sense of what kind of a position you're in going forward? Yeah, I, think it's, I think it's really strong. I mean, um, you're always surprised um, at, uh, at, at uh, this time of year who, who will leave and who will stay. Um, I would expect we'll have a very strong team coming back, um, and uh, you know the two the two here I think will both be Jesper could come back, but he's been here for four years and he's been far away from home, and I think he's ready to move on. Um, but I think that there's a there's a great chance we could have almost everybody back uh, uh, from this squad, um, and uh, and that could be exciting. It's done. What has he meant to you guys uh, this year and, and the whole time he's been with you? You know, Waylon is a um, Waylon is um, Waylon's a true testament to what can happen when you really want to fight for change. And Waylon came to us, you know, two years ago, um, and was a young man who really wanted to grow. And um, if, if you told me a year ago that I'd be sitting on this stage telling you that Waylon um, had done what he's done this the past month, um, you know, I, I'm not sure I would have believed you. But the growth that that young man has had, um, it's, it's a true testament. And I thought actually tonight was an interesting example. And I'm... He knows, he knows I didn't love his first half. But then you saw his second half, he was committed and played hard the entire time. We went from 14 turnovers in the first half to about two or three in the second half. Now, I know the personnel were different. But um, Waylon has grown so much. And uh, to see him come in as a guy who fought for just trying to do things the right way consistently to then being our clear leader 
and clearly leading us to a championship and being the MVP. Um, I mean, it's, it's the joy of coaching. It's the joy of seeing transformed lives, um, you know, through, through athletics. And um, I think Waylon will leave Longwood a different person than the young man that, that came to Longwood. And I think we can all hold our heads high uh, as a result. Coach, congratulations uh, to you guys on a championship season. Thank you for your time tonight. Thanks. Note to uh, our media, the workroom will be open until 2.30 a.m., and then it will reopen at 10.00.